Hi guys, welcome to my WIP and chat. For those of you who are new, WIP stands for work in progress and chat is that just that. I will be chatting um, while you do your own diamond painting or do your chores or however you want to listen to me as a podcast, um, just relaxing on the couch, however you want to do it. Um, yeah. So I want to say hi to all my subs too. Hi guys, you guys are awesome. Um, I'm at 333 subs now, so I just appreciate you guys so much. I just had to throw that in there. And if you're new here, welcome. I hope you stay and enjoy the content. Um, today I am using my normal, <laughs> my normal tray with the long spout. I think I'm pretty sure that this comes in Art Dot. Um, storage containers some of the storage containers come with this so i'm pretty sure that's where i got this and this pen it's a pink pen because i'm doing damaged that's the name of this painting by ns guero and i'm using this pink pen because she has a lot of pink in her someone asked me where i got this pen i got this pen off of timu so it's got can you guys see the the flowers in there really pretty. Um, I'm using a six placer that I got from Diamond Art Club. Um, it has um, purple wax in it and I'm using a brass tip single placer and it has a glue dot in it. Let's hope the glue dot holds out or it's not too sticky, one of the two. So let's just get started. I think I'm going to start over here with the letter L. Get those out of the way. I like to do the darker colors. Oh and I don't have very much of this color left so that's good. That means I will have to refill it. So once I get to that point, if I do, I will stop using this color. This uh, canvas is a round canvas. Did I say it's from Ennis Guerrero? Yeah. Sorry, my brain is, I'm, I'm not braining today at all. I have been just wackadoodle today, just all day long. I don't know why. The weather's been nice though. <laughs> It's um, it's kind of muggy to be honest. It's kind of muggy out. So how are you guys all doing? Oh my gosh, so much has gone on. I haven't posted in three days. That is not like me at all. I have to move this a little bit because I'm going off of the light table. There we go. Um, I haven't posted in three days. It's just been crazy with my birthday and Mother's Day and my son's birthday and Coco's birthday and our wedding anniversary. It's just been... <sighs> this time of the year is so bad. Like, not just, like, with all of the events, but just financially. It's, like, it's just crazy. So what we've done is we have just collectively all decided to celebrate it. Um, the birthdays, so my son's birthday, my birthday, Coco's birthday, all in one day and just like all go out to dinner together and, you know, just call it a day with that and just make it so that we don't have like me going out to dinner, then him going out to dinner. And I know some people are like, no, you should celebrate it separately. Oh my gosh. We just we're no. And we're all fine with that. We're all good with that. So you know, my son doesn't feel cheated or anything like that. He actually was happy. He was like, are we doing the thing that we did last year, mom, with, where we all go out? And I'm like, yes. He's like, thank God. So, yeah. I'll get into that more in a little bit here. So the weather's been good. Yesterday, it was super sunny and warm. It was just right, though. It was like 73 degrees outside, which is perfect weather. And, um, my husband was so sweet and he, my car is like, was like covered in pollen. And, um, yesterday was Mother's Day. So he went out and scrubbed my car down. My car is now nice and squeaky clean. I thought that was so nice of him. I mean, he doesn't have to do anything for me for Mother's Day, but he did. He cleaned up the kitchen yesterday. I, ba I basically, I had nothing that I had to do yesterday because he did it all. He did everything. He did all of the chores. He did everything, cooked everything. So that was super nice. Um, yeah, he's just, he's so sweet like that. 
Oh, I wanted to mention too, and I, I'm going to put out another video here shortly. It's a really short video, but I wanted to mention in my last whip and chat, I said that it was my one year anniversary on YouTube. No, it was my one year anniversary of diamond painting. My one year anniversary on YouTube is coming up in July, just like I thought. I was so confused too, because after I said that, I was like, I don't think it's been a year. And I went back and looked at my um, videos and sure enough, the, the, the farthest back goes uh, 10 months. So, and it's May, so June, July. So yeah, um, I was incorrect. So I just wanted to clear that up because I felt really embarrassed. I was like, oh my gosh, Remy, I, I misspeak a lot. So I just, I do, I do, I do, I do. So anyway, that's, that's the thing about that. Okay. <laughs> um, I did write down some notes, but I'm just going to be honest with you. Like I'm, I'm going to be all over the place today because they're not even good notes. They're like just scribble. Um, so my birthday was May 7th. That's when my birthday is. And we went to, well, we didn't go, my, we went and picked up food from this Thai restaurant that we love. I think I've mentioned it before. Um, this Thai restaurant, it's so good. Oops, I'm like past where the flipping paper is. Or the, is it in? Yep. Okay. Um, oh, there's some over here though. Let me grab these. Um, we love this Thai restaurant. We got some veg, it's called vegetable tempura. And it's like huge chunks of broccoli and a whole mushrooms and eggplant and onion and um zucchini um I don't there wasn't any cauliflower but um and of course they deep fry it right because it's a treat so oh my gosh it was so good it came with this like honey sauce I don't know what it was but the next time we go there I'm gonna ask for extra honey sauce it was so good and then I just got the, the vegan tofu um, pad thai, which is so good. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you guys this. So they, I've never experienced this before. Where is a release paper? Oh, it's, they're all over there. Okay. Um, they're on another painting. I guess I could reach, well, I don't want to get up. Um, yeah, I'm that lazy. Well, no, I just don't want to get up because I don't want to bump you guys. And so the last time we went, I I love spicy food, and so, oops, you were stuck on there. Um, I love spicy food, and it it's weird because at this Thai restaurant, so five star is the hottest you can go. At least all of the Thai restaurants I have ever been to, ever five star is the hottest you can go. It's that's, that's it. That's the top of the line. So when we went there the first time I ordered five stars, it wasn't spicy. Okay. But this restaurant goes up to 10. Yeah. 10 stars. Don't ask me. I don't even like, I don't even know how you're putting that much spice on there because, uh, five star for most people is really spicy. So the next time I went, I asked for six stars. And it still wasn't that spicy. My husband thought it was spicy, but I did not think it was spicy. And I like spicy food. So not this time, but the time before when I called in, I said, I want a seven. And my husband wanted a five because when he tasted the five, he was like, yeah, this isn't that spicy. The six got him, but the five was fine. So he got a five. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So he brought the food home and he's like, they don't do a seven. And I'm like, what? They go up to 10. And he's like, right, but they don't do a seven. And I'm like, wait, but I got a six the last time I went. And he's like, I don't know, but they said that they don't do a seven. So he goes, so they gave me this. And then it, it was a, like an extra packet of like chili sauce or something. I wasn't going to open it. I'm like, um, no, I'm not going to be putting that on my food. You guys, we tasted it. Now, 
I can eat Korean fire noodles, no problem. That's how spicy I, I mean, I'm like, I love spicy food, love spicy food. This food was so spicy. My husband was like, I knew it was bad because he was like, his eyes were running, his nose was running. He was like getting up and getting paper towels and like, I mean, he was on the struggle bus for real. And um, he's like, I can't eat it. I can't eat it. It's too spicy. And all of a sudden he realized I got really quiet and he goes, that's when I knew, that's when I knew there was a problem. <laughs> he goes, you got completely silent. And I did because it was like, it was so spicy. And then my stomach started to get warm and I've never experienced that before, even with Korean fire noodles. Okay. there. I've never experienced like my stomach getting warm from the food ever. I mean, my husband, my husband's like, why, why haven't you? He's like, I do. He's like, I do all the time. I'm like, I don't know. I've never, that's never happened to me. Should we do some of the pink? I bet you guys want to do some of the pink. Well, you're not watching me. So I'm going to do the curved arrow. Um, so yeah, it was super spicy. So this time when we went, I said, tell them I want a three, <laughs> but yeah, it goes up to a 10. I don't know who's eating a 10. I mean, you have got to be, i you've got to be like one of those people that does the one chip challenge or like the what were those things called the death nut oh my gosh yeah I don't I don't know who you are but whoever you are you have your tongue is burned off now you have no feeling in your tongue whatsoever or your throat so yeah, we went to the Thai restaurant for my birthday. We just kind of sat around and ate. And it was just my husband and I because um, the kids were busy. They were working and stuff. And so we just, we had our own, we had our own thing. Wait, was my, when was my birthday on a Saturday? When? I'm kind of feeling like it was a, because he took, well, he had, he had Thursday off for his flex day. And then he took Friday off. So I think, yeah, it was on Friday when we went. Um, so the kids were busy. So yeah, we just, that's what we did. Um, so yeah, we had the Thai food. It was really, really good. Um, like I said, I love that vegetable tempura. Oh my gosh. So delicious. And he got like a curry noodle soup with like rice noodles. It looked really good. Um, and he really liked it. So that's kind of, that's kind of what we did for my birthday. He, um, he bought me two beautiful fuchsias that we hung up on the front porch. They are absolutely gorgeous. They're massive too. They're so big. So I love them so much. I love him and the fuchsias. <laughs> but yeah, so we hung those up and they look really good. And I was just like, oh honey, they're so beautiful. So we just kind of hung out for my birthday. It was nice for my actual birthday, you know, the day. It's kind of weird because the older you get, you're just kind of like, eh, it's my birthday. It just feels like another day to me. Does it feel like that to you guys? It just feels like another day. I kind of actually feel bad for people around me because I'm like, you guys don't need to make a big deal. Like, I do not like having a big deal made out of me at all. I don't want to be like the center of attention. I don't want to, ooh, that just bothers me so much. Are you guys like that? Or do you, do you, are you the type of person that's like, no, I want you to sing me happy birthday. I want, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But cause a lot of people are like, no, I want to do the whole thing. Like, you know, sing me happy birthday and take me out and you know, this is my day and blah, blah, blah. And there's nothing wrong with that. Cause it is your day. But I'm just, I'm like the opposite. I'm like, no, 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 no. Um, let's do this. So yeah, that's what we did for my birthday. Um, I was talking about scary movies in my last whip and chat. Actually, I do talk a lot about scary movies in my whip and chat, but somebody... <laughs> 
Pebbles Diamonds, was it you? I think it was her. Um, she was talking about how she doesn't really like scary movies. Like she, she likes some scary movies, but not other ones, not disturbing ones. And she brought up, um, the human centipede. Oh my gosh. Don't ever watch that movie ever. Don't ever watch it. Forget I even said anything. It's so bad. It's so, so, so bad. And yeah, she brought that up and I was like, girl, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to bring that up because when I talk about scary movies, I do not like movies like that. I like just like, I don't know, like paranormal activity and like even the exorcist kind of scares me. But um, you know what really scares me is The Conjuring. That one really scared me like so bad, so bad. But yeah, I just wanted to bring that up about scary movies because somebody had commented, I think it was Pebbles Diamonds, but I might be, I'm sorry if it wasn't you, hon. Um, but it was, it was somebody and they were like, oh, I like scary movies, but not this type of scary movie. And I'm like, oh, I totally hear you. So I hope I'm not coming off as like, I like these like really gory movies because I, I don't, they really bother me. What did we see? Oh, remember my last whip and chat? I talked about the invisible man that my son was like, mom, you have to watch that movie. It's really good. Mm, I thought it was okay. The new one, the latest one. I thought it was okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, the ending was like, okay, that's kind of cool, but I don't know. Like the whole movie, I was just like, they didn't really explain a lot in my opinion. So I was just kind of like, wait, what's going on? Like, how did he become invisible again? Some scientist or something. Yeah, I don't know. So I have to tell you the cutest story ever. I have a picture. I wish I knew how to insert a picture. Well, I would have to edit to do that, but, um, and it's on my phone. Wait, my husband sent it to me. I can pull it up on my iPad. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I think I can pull it up on my iPad. No. Oh, wait, wait. Nope. Why is it not on here? Sorry. I have to see. Oh no, it's not on here. It's not on here. Did he send it to the group? He sent it to the group. That's why. Okay, you guys, look at this picture. Look, look, look what I'm holding. Do you see how tiny it is? So I have to tell you this story. Just take a moment to look. Is that the cutest thing ever? Okay, so, sorry I bumped you. So, we were outside. We were sitting on the front porch. And, I mean, you can see we were on our porch. And my husband, what was my husband doing? He was right in front of me in there. I think he was just checking to see if our sunflowers were coming up. Because he was just walking, like, really slow in front of the garden bed. So, I was on the porch. And he was down below in the grass. And he goes, honey, honey. And I'm like, what? And he's, he made the motions of, like, a bunny hopping. And I was like, what? And he's like, come here, stand up. And I'm like, okay. So I stood up and he's like, look over the rail. So I look over the rail and there's this little potato, this little potato sitting there. So, and I, you guys, I've been wondering because there's been this rabbit that has been coming I think I even mentioned it in my last whipping chat. There's this rabbit that's been coming up to my garden. And I thought it was just like going after the sunflower seeds or something like that. Because we've had rabbits like eat our plants and stuff before. Um, like our vegetable garden. Um, and I was wondering why it wouldn't get scared off. Because like I would knock on the window. Because I'm like don't eat my, my sunflowers. Anyway, so I look over the rail and there's this little potato, this little cute bunny. Oh my gosh, so adorable. And the bunny got scared and took off and it ran. So I've got Coco on a leash 
thank God she was on a leash. I've got her, well, yeah, she was on a leash. And um, the bunny r runs towards, down our sidewalk, down our sidewalk, and into our breezeway. And I'm like, oh no, this bunny's way too small to be away from its mom, way too small. And so he was just all over the place. And I finally caught him. And just as we turn around, because my husband was like, oh no, what do we do? What do we do? And as soon as I turn around, there is another one on the walkway right by him. There's another baby bunny. So my husband tried to catch him and he ran underneath the cars. And I was so worried about this baby. And so we looked and we looked and we looked. We couldn't find it. And my son was leaving and um, we're like, no, you can't go. Like, wait, you know, it's underneath one of these cars. So we're all looking, we're all looking for this baby bunny. And um, luckily, so uh, I don't need to explain all this, but anyway, our garbage and recycle, it went up behind our garbage and recycle and my husband was able to catch it. Thank God. And so we took the babies and we took them back and we put them back where we found them. And my husband was like, oh, he, he was so sweet. He's like, he's, I'm like, so she made like a little nest under our porch. Like usually they do it in the grass. They, um, rabbits will pull their fur out to make little nests for their babies. Isn't that cute? Well, it's not cute, but yeah, they'll pull their fur out. We used to have rabbits. Um, so she must've done that cause it's nothing but dirt underneath dirt and rocks underneath our porch. Nothing but dirt and rocks. There's no grass. There's nothing. Um, so we put him back and my husband's like, we come in. It's like, it was like really hot that day. And we come in and he goes into the refrigerator and he pulls out a head of cabbage. And I'm like, oh, what are you making? He goes, I'm not making anything. He goes, I'm going to cut some of this up and go put it by where the bunnies were. He goes, in case the mom needs some food. I'm like, oh, <laughs> the mom hasn't eaten any of it. I hope that she came back. These bunnies were way too tiny, you guys. You saw how tiny it was. Too tiny. Too tiny, I think. I don't know. Maybe they are big enough to be away from their their mom. Can you believe I missed this L? Look at this. Right here. I missed that one L. <laughs> I miss, I miss drills all the time. Oops. Oh, maybe that's why I missed it. Cause my glue, my glue dot is getting way too sticky. So yeah, that was kind of cool. I'm trying to remember what day that was. It would have said on the photo and I didn't even bother to look, but yeah, so cute. So cute. So that was kind of exciting to be able to hold a baby bunny. Didn't bite, nothing, just sat there. Just sat there and looked at me, had a little white stripe on his forehead. It was so cute. Little tiny, little tiny feet, little tiny tail, just adorable. So, yeah. So speaking of animals, we had to take Coco to the vet. I talked about in my last video that I was having anxiety about it and it was coming up. So my anxiety was pretty bad. I did really good. I did really good. Um, so the vet knows that she's a caution dog. They have her. Sorry. Do you guys see any more S's? I don't see any more, but I know as soon as I put these away out, I will. Um, she's a caution dog because of the one time that we went there, as I explained in another whip and chat, she bit the vet because he like lunged at her. I swear to God, I'm not even kidding. Um, I mean, seriously, <laughs> jerk. Um, but so we get there and they call her back. Super nice technician. Oh my gosh. So sweet. And I see that there's two muzzles. There's two different size muzzles on the counter behind her. And I'm like, oh no, you know. And so she was able to examine her completely fine. Um, asked her what kind of food we feed her and all this kind of stuff. 
Oh my gosh, there was cocoa hair in here and I blew and blew the drills everywhere. Good job, Rainy. Good job. Um, I did not mean to do that. I don't know where they all went. I don't think it was very many. And so I knew what was coming and I'm like, poor thing. Like, I just feel so bad. So the technician just did her, you know, stuff. She took her temperature and stuff and Coco was completely fine. Not wearing the muzzle. She wasn't wearing the muzzle yet. And took her temperature. Oops, sorry. And um, let's see, what should we do next? Let's do the number four because there's a lot of those. Let's do that. That's a pretty color. Um, she wasn't wearing the muzzle or anything like that. Everything was fine. Um, and so Coco was there for her shots. She needed two shots, her Bordetella and her Lepto. And then she needed a fecal test. And that's it. That's all she was there for. So um, the technician leaves and the vet comes in. Now this vet I love. This is the vet that I normally see and I love her. She is like so sweet. She takes her time. She's super slow. So she asked me politely to put on Coco's muzzle and I was like, oh no, wait, no, she didn't. She didn't. She, um, she wanted to see her teeth. And so she's like, can you pull her gums up? And I'm like, oh no, because Coco would never let me do that at home. Never. But she was scared. And so she let me do it. So she looked at her teeth and then she looked at her fur and she's like, she has really nice looking fur. And I'm like, thanks. I'm like, she gets a lot of broccoli and carrots and green beans and peas <laughs> from her diet. Oh my gosh. But, um, she checked her for fleas and all that kind of stuff. And then she was like, okay, I'm going to have you put the muzzle on. We're going to take her back and get her shots. Did I already tell you guys this story? <laughs> I feel like I already told you guys this story. Yeah, I already told you guys this story. Oh my gosh. What is the matter with me? You guys, I don't even know where I'm at. Did I already? I swear to God, I already told you guys the story. Or was I telling it to somebody else? Let me look back. Nope, I already told you. I am so sorry. Never mind. Forget what I was saying. <laughs> you guys are like, I've heard this story before. Never mind. That was a while back. Gosh, I forget. You guys, I have to write stuff down all the time. Like, I don't know what it is. If I'm just like, I mean, I'm becoming forgetful and it kind of scares me. I'm like literally lately, like it literally kind of scares me what I'm forgetting. Like I'm forgetting stuff that I should not forget. Like my husband will be like, remember I told you blah, blah, blah. And I'm not even kidding you. I'm like, are you gaslighting me right now? Because I swear you didn't tell me this. He's not. He would never do that. But I'm like, I swear you did not tell me that. He's like, I told you. I did. I told you. And he's like, remember what you said? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, I don't. It's so weird. It's so weird, you guys. Oh my gosh. So how many of you guys switching gears here now that I was, whatever. How many of you guys got to see the Northern Lights? Mm -hmm. we um, were directly beneath them. So like if, if you looked up into the sky, we saw this huge eye, this huge hole, this huge eye up in the sky. And the curtains, if you will, were coming down in every direction from this focal point. I thought it was really cool. And then in the distance, you could see green. We have a territorial view, so it's really hard for us to see like any type of, um, you know, long distance. We can't see long distance on our property, but it was absolutely beautiful. It was so beautiful. It was really cool to see that. And then the next night, um, my daughter and my, her husband, 
oh my god her husband her boyfriend came over and um tried to see him and we didn't have any so that kind of sucked because they said that it might be both nights but it wasn't it was just the one night so who got to see them oh my gosh how cool huh super cool I wish I could have gotten like a picture, but it was like, everything was directly above us. So it was like white. It was, it looked like it was cloudy. It looked like it was cloudy outside, but then down at the bottoms, it was colorful. It was so pretty. I don't know if that's like normal. Cause I usually see Northern lights from the, from a distance when people take pictures, it's like from a distance. So I don't know if you're standing directly beneath it, if you can really see I don't know, it seemed like we were standing directly beneath it because there was like this huge eye, like this big opening directly above us where you could see like stars and everything. And then all around it, it was coming down. It looked like um, light clouds. Like if it was like a little bit cloudy outside. Anyway, it was really cool. We stood out there for a while. It was beautiful. Coco didn't want to be out there. She's like, what, what are we doing? Take me back inside. Where's my blanket? How dare you take me out into this wet grass at this time of night? So we, for, um, I hope you guys all had a good Mother's Day. Did I say that? I hope you guys did. See, I probably did. I probably said this and I don't even remember. I hope everybody had a good Mother's Day, even if I said it. Um, for Mother's Day, we went to our favorite Mexican restaurant and all had dinner together. It was really good. We had we had a really great wait waiter. He got a big tip, a big tip. He um, was flipping hilarious. So when he first came to the table, I'm like, dude is going to get our, our order so wrong. It's not even funny because it seemed like he wasn't paying attention. It was really weird. He seemed like really preoccupied and like he kept re-asking us like, okay, what, like my um, son ordered something. He's like, okay, what, what did you want? And he kept asking everybody over and over again like what and he even came back after we had ordered and he walked away a couple minutes later he came back and he asked my son what kind of meat do you want on that and I'm like oh oh here we go I'm like nope everything's gonna be wrong I even said something to the kids I'm like you guys know our 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 order is gonna be wrong it's just it he there's no way because he's so preoccupied I don't know what he's doing but he came back. Every single thing was correct. And I mean, I was like, no cheese, no sour cream. Don't even put any on my beans or my lettuce or whatever, you know. I mean, he got everything correct. And it was funny because when he was bringing the orders over, he dropped a carrot from mine because I got um, vegetable fajitas. And he dropped a carrot. A carrot fell off of the plate. And he's like, oh, I owe you a carrot. <laughs> but he was just great. He was such a great waiter. So we, we gave him a huge tip. Because it's hard to come across. Not hard, but you know what I mean. When you get a good waiter or waitress, you're like, heck yeah, give them some money. So that was fun. And then we all came back here. And um, we had, so my daughter, she makes the best vegan cheesecake ever. And I asked her, do you think you could make me a cheesecake? And she's like, yeah. So she made me a strawberry cheesecake. And then um, I had gotten my son a cake. It was um, just a normal cake. I feel like I've talked about this too. Probably did. Anyway, we had cake. We had, um, everybody was stuffed after that. Everybody was completely full. So we just kind of sat down and, um, talked. 
and just had a really good time just sitting down and talking. And my husband's like, I'm not even kidding you. He's like, because her boyfriend calls him dad. They've been together for like, I don't know, six or seven years. She's 27. He's 28. And so my husband literally was like, so when are you guys going to get married? Can you believe he said that? <laughs> He's like, so when are you guys going to get married? I think they've lived together for like three years now, two years, something like that. And he, he was like, yeah, when are we going to get married to my daughter? And my daughter's like, mm -mm, no, she's like, no, don't talk about this. And, um, then we started talking about proposing and all this kind of stuff because I actually proposed to my husband. He did not propose to me. I proposed to him. And so he was like, you know, Kelsey, he's like, you could always propose to Mitchell. You don't have to wait for him to do it. She's like, no, no. I think she was embarrassed. I don't blame her. It's like, really? But. They've been together for a long time. I mean, my husband and I were together for, I think we were together for six or seven years before uh, 1986 to 92. So yeah, six years. We were together for six years before we got married. So they're right around the same timeline, time frame. So it's kind of normal. Yeah, we just hung out and talk and uh, talked. And then that was the night. That was the night that they came back to see if they could see the Northern Lights. And there was just absolutely nothing. He's got a pickup truck. And so he put this thing to lay down in the back of his pickup. And we were all hanging out around his truck. And um, my son had his girlfriend over. And it was my husband and I. And then my daughter and her boyfriend. And... We just hung out. We had a really casual Mother's Day. So my son, for my birthday early, I told you guys this, he got me a gaming chair. Or I don't know if it's a gaming chair. It's just a really nice, comfortable leather chair for sitting when I'm diamond painting. I'm sitting on it right now. And I told you guys that a long, long time ago. So that he got that very early for me for my birthday. He didn't, he didn't want me to wait. He wanted me to have it as soon as possible because he knew I was sitting in it every day. And so that was for my birthday. So he, um, well, I'll tell you in a second. So he goes, he goes, mom for mother's day. He goes, picking out your present was so hard. And I'm like, it was. And he's like, it was so hard. He's like me and his girlfriend. He's like, we sat there and tried and we, we sat there and just, we were going back and forth and like, I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, she helped me pick them out. And I'm like, what, 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 what is it that you would have to like sit there and contemplate and like do all that for? I could not figure it out. And, um, I swear if I told you guys this, I'm going to be so mad. I couldn't have because this just happened. So there's no way. Okay. <laughs> so um, anyway, he got me a pair of Oakley's. I've never had a pair of Oakley's. I he Because my sunglasses are, I've probably had them for like 10 years. And they are so beat up that it's like hard to see through them. And he bought me a pair of Oakley's. So now I am part of the Oakley club. Pretty cool. I was like, dang, child. Dang. He loves his mom. That's for sure. And then my daughter, she got me, um, remember I was talking about those anxiety rings? They're, um, oh, I'm wearing them. So this is one right here. So it just, see how it spins? And then this is one. I got a whole bunch of them. This is one right here where you can like move the beads back and forth. You can like twirl them around, move them, do one at a time if you wanted to. So yeah, she got me a whole bunch of them. And I love them. 
I think they're awesome. I haven't really looked at the other ones, to be honest. I've just been, I just put these on and I mean, I, I kind of did. I kind of looked at them, but I didn't try them on or anything. So yeah, she got me those for Mother's Day. I thought that was so nice. It's like, thank you, honey. That's what I wanted. So yeah, that's pretty much all that's going on around here. We really don't have anything else to report. I don't have anything else to report. We put the goats back in their other paddock. I guess that's something to report. My life is so boring. <laughs> my life is so boring that I'm repeating stories. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I need to take some, um, what is that stuff that helps your memory? <laughs> There's got to be something. I don't know. Maybe it's just not important to me or something. I don't, I don't know what is going on. Maybe it's just in my head that I think that I'm forgetting stuff, but it sure seems like I am repeating myself a lot. Like I'll say something to the kids. They're like, mom, you already told us that. Maybe I should talk to my doctor. Seriously. Just be like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> and he'll be like, too late. We already knew that. No, I'm just kidding. So let's do questions, guys. Let's do questions. So Carol, I hope you're listening. Carol, good. She came through. She came through for me. She, um, she had two questions for me. Thank you so much, Carol. I really appreciate it. You guys can ask me whatever question you want. And typically on these whipping chats, I will ask you, Hey, leave a question down below and I will address it in my next whip and chat. So you can ask me any question within reason and I will do my best to answer it. Um, yeah. So she asked me two questions. The first question she asked me was what does the tattoo on my right arm say? So when I was doing my last whip and chat, I think, <laughs> I think this was showing. I think this was showing. Hopefully you can see the whole thing. So it says prima, 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 primum non nocere, primum non nocere, and that is Latin for first do no harm, first do no harm, and I have a story about that. My son turned 18 and he wanted a tattoo. Now I had already been thinking about getting this tattoo, and he, he turned 18. He's like, mom, I want to get a tattoo. I'm like, are you sure you want to get a tattoo? He's like, yes, I want one. I'm like, he's 18. You know, he, he knows like, I mean, and he's like, when we got to the tattoo place, he was like, what are you getting? And I'm like, I'm getting this. You know, I told him and I just didn't know the font I wanted. I wish I would have gotten like a little bit different font, but I like it. Um, and I told him, I'm like, I'm getting prune on no cherry. And he's like, what does that mean? I'm like, it means first do no harm. And, um, he's like, I want to get that one. And I'm like, are you sure you want to get it? Like you, you're literally just now making up your mind. He's like, no, that's the tattoo I want. Because, um, again, I'll mention this again. He wanted to become a police officer and um, he went through academy and all that kind of stuff. So first do no harm. And so plus that's kind of a thing for me is first do no harm. Um, yeah. So we both got the same tattoo on the same day and I have a video of him getting it done and he is literally turning white as he's getting his tattoo. I got mine done first. And then he got his done and his face was turning white. And I'm like, honey, breathe, breathe, take a breath. He took a couple breaths and he got a little bit better, but yeah. And ever since then, he, uh, he has so many tattoos. Well, he doesn't, he, let's see. He's got another saying on his other arm. It says, what does it say? 
I can't remember, something you can something me, but you, you'll you never contain me, something like that. Um, and then he's got a, on his upper shoulder, he's got the family crest and it says our name on it. So it's really cool. It's a really cool crest. It's got like this lion and it's roaring. Well, it's, I think it's a lion. <laughs> Anyway, it's our family crest. I should know, but I don't. So he's got that. And then her second question, so here's the second part, was how many tattoos do you have? Now, Carol, that is a very, very good question. I sat and I had to count. I had to count uh, how many tattoos I had. I even asked my husband, I'm like, how many tattoos do I have, honey? He's like, I have no idea. So I'm just going to go over where they are, and then maybe we can do a count at the end. So... I have one on my ankle. I'll start from the bottom and work my way up. I have one on my ankle. I have two on my lower back. I have three on my neck, the back of my neck, not the front of my neck, the back of my neck, kind of on my shoulders. So like there's one on each, one on the top of each shoulder and then one in the middle of my, of the back of my neck. Then I have a full sleeve on my left arm. It's completely filled in. There is no skin showing. It's all tattooed. Even my elbow. Don't even get me started on how painful that is. Even on my elbow, it's tattooed. Um, and then I have a tattoo right here on my finger. And it's my husband's name, Adam. And it's for my my wedding ring, my wedding finger. So I have that tattooed and I, oh, and then I have the one on my right arm. Oh my gosh. And then I have, <laughs> see, I can't even keep track. I can't even keep track. And then there's one on my upper right arm that you guys hardly ever get to see if ever. I mean, I would have to be wearing a tank top for you guys to see it and you'd have to be above me or to the side. Oops. And it has the names of my husband, my son, and my daughter on it with roses. So, yeah, I've got that one too. So that's, let's see, ankle. Okay, so wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then how do you count the sleeve? So I have nine tattoos plus a full sleeve. And the full sleeve is composed of different like tattoos, if you will. So, um, there's a bunch of different things on there. So yeah. So what did I say? How many was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine plus a full sleeve. That's how many tattoos I have. And I would have more if I could. I'm a tattoo junkie. I love tattoos. So, okay. So now it's time for my questions. The first question is, I hope that answered your question, Carol. If it didn't, let me know down in the comments and I will elaborate further on my next whip and tap. Um, what completely safe animal are you inexplicably afraid of? What completely safe animal are you afraid of? I don't really think about this. Because actually, I don't even know if the one that I'm thinking of is quote unquote safe necessarily. But I'm going to go with it is safe because there's so many different kinds. Because see, that's the thing. It's like, what if what if there's a bunch of different kinds of the animals that you're afraid of? Do you know what I mean? So what are you guys afraid of? A safe animal that you're afraid of, like a koala, a giraffe? An elephant. Like, see, a lion would not be a safe animal, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, no. Not safe. But, yeah, what safe animal are you afraid of? So, um, I don't know. You guys let me know if I'm answering this incorrectly. I will take your, I will take your criticism. Um, but I'm afraid of spiders. And the reason why I think that they're safe is because there are spiders, like hunting spiders, um, that kind of stuff that are safe. Like they're not going to hurt you, but I am absolutely 
absolutely terrified of them, like cobweb spiders, spiders like that. They're not going to hurt you. They're not going to do anything to you. Oh, I can't. You guys, any type of spider, I'm terrified of them. So there are spiders that aren't safe. I will give it that. But yeah, I'm, I can't do spiders. I just, I will literally, oh. If there's a spider in the room and there's nobody to get it for me because there's no way I'm getting it, there's no way I'm getting it, and there's nobody to get it for me, I will just, like, leave the room and not go back until, like, somebody gets it or some something. I just, I can't. I'm too afraid of them. What about you guys? I'll tell you my most feared animal of all time, and that is uh, sharks. Oh, I used to swim all the time as a child. I would swim all the time. I can't anymore. I am so terrified of sharks. Oh, I'm so terrified. I don't even care if it's a river because there are river sharks. There are sharks that swim up rivers. Don't ask me why, how, whatever. They just do. Oh, I'm terrified of sharks. And I didn't know that we had great white sharks here off of the Washington coast. I did not know that. So, yeah. Even more reason not to go in the water. Okay. Second one. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Morning person or night owl? I used to be a morning person until my husband started working night, uh, yeah, night shift. Um, I was a morning person. I used to love to get up early. It was so nice and have the coffee and just, you know, it was so just, it seemed so peaceful, but now I'm a night owl and I stay up until like two, two thirty at night and don't get up until, you know, 10 30, 11 the next day because I'm so tired because I didn't get enough sleep. And he has to leave here at 1.30. So it kind of sucks, to be honest. Oops, I didn't even pick up Gerald. Um, So yeah, I, I'm a night owl, but out of necessity, if that makes sense. So I, I would not be a night owl. But currently I am a night owl. And that is not going to change anytime soon. And you know what? I also, I think being a night owl has also affected my weight. I was reading that people who are night owls or people who stay up late and don't go to bed at a decent time, um, like they'll eat or, you know, something like they tend to, they tend to be heavier. They tend to gain weight. Oops, sorry. And that makes sense to me because like I will have my lunch, like I haven't even, it is 240. I haven't had anything to eat today yet. It's just not time for me to eat. I'm just not, I'm not hungry. I'm not, you know, ready to eat. So I will eat like, I'll probably eat after this video. I'll probably have like a protein shake or something like that. And then I usually have lunch like around six. Um, and then I have dinner at eight o'clock. So by the time my husband gets home at 1230, or 1230 he gets home at um almost one o'clock i'm starving because it's eight nine ten eleven twelve one it's been five five hours since i ate my body's like hey i'm hungry and i told myself so many times i'm like don't eat don't eat when he gets home just just put a kibosh on it like right at eight o'clock when you're done with dinner like that's it don't eat anymore but it's like, I don't know, you're, you're starving. You've been up for like five more hours. So I don't know. I could eat later. I've tried doing that. So maybe that's just what I should be doing is just eating later. So anyway, my friends, that's it for today's whip and chat. Sorry about repeating my story about Coco. <laughs> 
guys just so like me. I make mistakes all the time on my YouTube channel and then I rewatch the video and I'm so embarrassed. So thanks for putting up with me, you guys. I really appreciate you guys. I really, really do. So you guys take care and I will talk with you soon. Loves.